It is Move It Monday, and this morning we're talking about uh, youth education and service programs for boys and girls, and we have upstate young Marines here to talk to us this morning. Sergeant uh, General, uh, no, I'm Major General, Sergeant <laughs> Major, Major, we have Sergeant James Major Roberts. James Roberts. Welcome, sir. How are Thank you? Thank you, sir. Colin Draper. Hello, Colin. Yes, and Kylie Drennan. Hi. Okay, in order. Susanna Patterson mm -hmm. and Tara, Tara Caton. All right. Hi, thank, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is a, a different type of Movement Monday for us, and but we're always focusing on people that are doing things in leadership and service and moving. Uh, t James, tell us a little bit about the Young Marines. People may not be familiar with that program. Okay. Well, the uh, Young Marines are a youth educational service program for boys and girls uh, ages 8 to completion of high school. Mm -hmm. uh, we focus on uh, teamwork, uh, discipline. Uh, leadership and also community service. We do a lot in the communities, all around the community, just uh, giving back, and that's what we do. And it, it doesn't even matter if they're not planning to go in, into the Marines after uh, after school? Is this just kind of like a, a leadership program? It doesn't matter if they serve after that? No, it, do, it doesn't. Uh, the things that we teach them while they're in the program is just things that they can use uh, going in the military mm -hmm. or not going in the mi in military. We're talking about time management, the leadership. So if they're yeah. looking at doing any type of work or anything else, these are the skills and things. We all we needed that, <laughs> don't we? And what kind of projects are y'all involved in? Oh, I tell you, many projects. Uh, we have uh, uh, two adopt roads that we clean. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a cemetery that we clean. Uh, we're involved with the uh, Toys for Tot program. Good, yeah. uh, we're involved in any type of veteran program that goes on. we we'll let it be flag retirement ceremony mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. like that. You can rest assured the young Marines are there. Yeah. yeah, and so you are literally tied to the U.S. Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, uh, we, the only thing we fall under for the Marine Corps is their anti-drug program. Okay. Otherwise, we, have, we don't have anything to do with the Marine Corps itself. Yeah. Uh, we're just a youth service educational program, mm -hmm. not through the schools or anything like that. Well, okay. who doesn't want to be a Marine? All right. <laughs> well, I talk, yeah, I want to talk to some of you guys about um, why you chose to, to join this program and what, what are some of the things you've learned from it so far. Yeah, I'll, I'll start first. So uh, what got me into the program was I had a buddy. He came to my homeschool co-op, and he did a drug demand reduction speech to us. And so he came in his uniform, he talked to us, and I, I just, it motivated me to, you know, want to do this and put my foot in the door. And after that, it, it has been like an exceptional program for me to join. So How about you ladies? Um, well, I joined because I like structure, and originally I was planning on doing some military thing in my life. Mm -hmm but that's not really the case anymore. So I just stuck with it because it's a really good program and I like opening up to people about DDR and stuff. Yeah. And you usually don't hear kids your age say that they like structure. So, <laughs> so it's done some things. Susanna, what do you think? Um, I joined the program originally. My dad had looked into it. He was in the Marine Corps yeah. um, and he said, hey, this looks like a good program. And I had always thought about maybe going into the military one time. And I was like, might as well kind of try it out sort of a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's what originally brought me to the program and now it's um, taught me a lot and it's it's gotten me out of my comfort zone in a good way. Um, I'm not as shy as I used to be anymore. <laughs> I can get up in front of people and speak now. I don't know, Tara looks a little shy. Have you ever <laughs> shy Tara? Well, I joined because my brother, he was in the Young Marines for about a year before me so uh -huh. I thought well it, it seems really interesting and the first time I went there I knew I was really going to enjoy it. Uh, She's not sure. Everyone's I, so well spoken no. to. And I so. definitely enjoy the structure and the, especially like Chris Auto Drill. It's really fun. Uh -huh. Kid, uh, parents, get your kids in the Young Marines yeah. because they're all such put together young people. Is there a website we can go to? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we, have, uh, we have our unit website, which is uh, uh, www.upstateyoungmarine.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, once you go to that website, it has a link that you can send me your information for my contact information okay. and things like that. Are there any ways that the community can, can help you guys or any projects that, that you're looking to, to serve in, in different ways that we can make some connections with here in our community? Well, a lot of the, uh, the projects and things we do is because we are, we're not funded. We're not funded by uh, any uh, organization or whatever. Uh, all of our funds come from our regular fundraisers that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're always out there looking for uh, sponsors or donors mm -hmm. to the program. Have you got a fundraiser coming up? 
We just got through with Krispy Kreme. We're working on something else here. You know, Krispy Kreme is a big deal for everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually working on our next uh, big fundraiser, and hopefully we can get the community to come out and support uh, support the program. Tell us support so we the kids. Can yeah, it. bring yes, us sir. the donuts, and we'll tell everybody yeah. else. We promise. Not a problem. So, no, but congratulations on all the work that you guys have done, and uh, keep us posted on any ways that we can help with fundraising in the future to, to tell more people about what you're doing. So sure we appreciate yeah. it. Thank you all so much. You're still yeah. Sergeant General to me, not Sergeant General. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. <laughs> and Jack said it before the segment, thank you for your service. Uh, no, very much welcome. Yeah. We want to thank, thank you, you all for having us on the show. Of course. Mm -hmm.